Let's have fun today. So I want you to try to guess who's behind this picture. So I'm going to give you a bit more hints until you guess it. If you know now, it is Ancelina Jolie. Well, if you want to learn how to make this fun game, let me show you. It is very easy. So we create a new sheet. We go to page layout, background, and then we can type Angelina Jolie. Then you get pictures of her. So I can select any picture I like. For example, I can select this one. I do insert. And then you can see the picture comes here everywhere. We need to adjust it a little bit. So here, if I want to take, let's say 10 columns, as you can see, it is more than the picture. So I need to make them a little bit smaller. So I can do this, change the width of the column. And I think it is fine right now. I'm going to take an 11th column. You will see why later. And then from column L, I select it. I do Control, Shift, right arrow. Then I right click and I do height. So I've hidden the rest. Now we need to count the number of rows. So here I have around 20 rows for her face. If I want to take 10, for example, I select 10 and then I make them bigger until I have the right row height. And as you can see with 10, we are fine. So I will do the same thing to the rows. I select row 11, then I do Control Shift, arrow down, right click, hide, and then I've hidden the rest. Here for column K, I'm gonna select it and go here on home, click on this bucket and I will select the white color. So first thing is done. Next, if you remember, we have this widget that we're gonna put. So we go to developer. If you don't have developer, you can go anywhere. You right click here, you have customize the ribbon and then you'll get here and you have to tick on developer. So I have developer, I'll go to insert, form control, I have spin button and I'm gonna insert a spin button. After that, I need here a number. So based on the spin button, I can put the number. So I right click here, format control. I have minimum value is zero, maximum value is 100, so 100%. And incremental, I'm going to put 5% every time. You can do less, you can do more, you can do whatever you want. The most important is the cell link. So we're going to click here and select this cell. And then we say OK. So now every time I click up, I'm going to get five more. Every time I click down, I get five less. And I can make this font bigger. So I click on home and I make it bigger to my liking. So this is the font. Then we're going to have to put some random numbers here. So I'm going to do equal, rand, between. And if you don't know what is rand between, I'm going to put the link in the description. I put 1 and 100 because we have 1% to 100%. We say enter. Then we can copy paste this formula for all my cells. And as you can see, I have a formula. I don't want it anymore because I don't want things to update because every time you do something, for example, you do this, you can see that the numbers, they update. I don't want it. So I do select control C and then I'll do paste, paste special values. So now my formulas are gone. Then I need to use conditional formatting. So I select this. I go to conditional formatting under home. I say new rule and then I go to formats only cells that contain. I say cell value if it's less than or equal to. We select this one. If it's the case, I don't want any color. Then I select this and I make it all white. So if I do five, for example, you can see that five is bigger than the ones and the three. So it will show me this. Otherwise, everything is bigger. So I won't get any formatting. If I do 10, 
again everything that is less than 10 will become with no fill the rest will keep their white filling so again we go back to conditional formatting if we go to manage rule double click here we can see that any cell that is less or equal to 10 to this cell I want to have no color in my filling so I want to remove this white this is why every time you click here any cell that has a number that is lower than this I will be able to see it and so on and as you can see the cells are beginning to appear the last problem I have is those numbers I don't want to see them so I'm going to use custom formatting for this and I'm going to put a link for some of the lessons on custom formatting if you're not familiar with it but I select them I click under home here I go to number custom instead of this general I will put two semi columns so you do this as you can see I have disguised the numbers so the number is still there but because of custom formatting I've said any number that is positive or negative I don't want to see it so this is why you don't see any number here and now you click you can see that the picture of Angelina Jolie is appearing or disappearing slowly